Hello and welcome to the Next Gen Check-In. Over the next few months, we're gonna be jumping into a couple of topics that I mentioned last month. Missions engagement, evangelism, and cultural competency. Last month, we talked about how these topics might be difficult to bring up because, well, you actually have to live them out and model them for your community and students. We're busy people, and sometimes it feels like we just don't have the time to teach or display these topics in particular in the way that they need. But that doesn't mean that we should drop them entirely. Now, I know that I'm kind of a crazy person, and I am sorry if you can relate to this, but oftentimes I would rather do nothing than do something half-hearted or not perfect. However, with topics like this, we have to just start somewhere. Remember Proverbs 22 from last month? Train up a child in the way they should go and they will not depart from it. Missions engagement is something that we need to teach and show to students of all ages so that they know that they have a place to be involved in missions and to be knowledgeable of the opportunities that God might have for them. Matthew chapter 28. Starting in verse 18, And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded. And behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. Missions is a call to all of us. This verse didn't say if you're over the age of X or if you've had this kind of schooling. Not everyone has to be the one who's sent overseas and living there for years. There's a way for everyone to be engaged, connected, and involved in missions. Maybe that is a short-term mission trip. Maybe that's inviting an international worker to share stories at your gathering. Maybe it's fundraising for a special project overseas. Maybe it's just praying for our workers. Maybe it's as simple as having a world map pinning prayer cards all over it so that students can see that there are people serving the Lord everywhere. You have a distinct advantage by being a part of the Alliance, whether that is utilizing our amazing stateside Envision sites or checking out the new Alliance Kids one-page teaching guide for your weekly lessons that include Alliance Missions Emphasis. You have amazing stories and opportunities within your own Alliance family, so take advantage of them. God works in amazing ways, and you never know who in your group God might call to be a pastor, evangelist, or international worker. But in the words of the Apostle Paul, how then will they call on him whom I have not believed? And how are they to believe in him of whom they have never heard? And how are they to hear without someone preaching? And how are they to preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who preach the good news. So tell me, what are you doing to bring missions into the lives of your students? What has been successful for you or what hasn't worked? If you don't have any missions engagement yet, What's one thing that you could do this month to start talking about missions with your group? I know that this is mostly just me talking right now, but I would love to hear from you and for others to learn from your experience. So please feel free to share in the comments or reach out to me because I'm here for you. And until next time, thanks for checking in with me.